Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now today guys, we are back on the solo game, and we are at the swamp because I want to go and tame an otter today on the solo series. We do not have an otter yet, even though they were released quite a while ago. Now I have seen a couple of otters uh, spawn in. The issue is, is that um, it's kind of hard to swim after them. So while we're here, I do happen to have the frog feet archetype and this snake is gonna, he's gonna come after me. So what I want to do is kill a couple of frogs, get their frog feet so that we can create the frog feet Ingram um, archetype, whatever it's called. We, we need to get those frog feet is basically the idea here. Uh, they're probably in that bag. This dillo's in the way. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to create these frog feet, and then we are going to go and get ourselves uh, some otters, or at least one otter. I'm really hoping we find one. I did see one earlier, so I'm hoping it's still there when I go back to it. Uh, but if not, that's all right. I do have other areas that I can check for. Um, frog? There was another frog right here. They do take four frog legs, um, and each frog drops pretty much just two frog legs. So you do have to kill a couple of frogs to be able to get this whole archetype. Um, there we go. We'll kill this frog here. Perfect. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Ugh, almost buried, but we did get it. Cool. Perfect. Ah! Ouch! No, Capro, no! Get off me! Let me go! Let me go! Jerk. Ugh, Capros. Capros are the worst. Ugh, okay. Um, actually, did you have anything good on you? No, it's garbage. Good to know. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, go into the crafting menu. Now, I think I have enough stuff. I did go and hunt up a bunch of, uh, penguins earlier. So it all should be on Red Mommy here, which is going to be perfectly okay. It does take quite a bit of organic polymer. I'll level up there. All right, so it takes 30 organic polymer and I think 45 hide, so I almost have enough here. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. And then fiber as well, which I did grab a stack from base. Perfect. All right, uh, there we go. So we have made these little frog feet. Um, these are going to be super helpful in terms of uh, getting around in the water and taming up this otter friend of ours. So I did see one over here on the other side of this little redwoods area. Um, man, this griffin, we're still working on leveling up this griffin, so it's a little bit on the slow side, but it is going to get there. We are slowly getting more speed, slowly getting more stamina on this guy. And it's uh, it's already really good for getting around on the map pretty quickly. Maybe not the best, but it's definitely getting up there. All right, so I did see an otter over here earlier today. So hopefully it's still here. I think I, think I see it in the water. They are so, so small um, that it's often very difficult to see if you've actually gotten one. All right, so let's go ahead and I already have that. So let's go ahead and transfer some fish meat as well just to make sure we've got enough here. Okay, put that away. Um, I probably won't need it, but we'll see. Oh man, so much faster in the water. Yes, okay, the otter is still here. Very cute, level 55. It is a male, but uh, I'm going to take it because otters are not the most common spawns in the world. Let's go ahead and equip our soothing bomb. Oh man, I'm so glad I did this frog feet thing. That makes it a lot easier. Um, there we go. Now we just need fish meat. Beautiful. Ooh, almost too fast. Almost. Beautiful. All right, so we'll be able to tame this guy up with just uh, one more feeding here. Man, frog feet are the absolute best. Like, I still love this archetype. I wish I used it more, honestly. Is that another otter over there? No, that's a beaver. Okay, we're good. I'm really only interested in the otters um, today. I will probably be taming a beaver at some point. Um, actually, I think they're one of the few things 
I've never personally tamed on this series, um, on any Ark Mobile series, because everyone always tames them, and then I somehow just end up using all of my tribe mates, um, or I've been gifted them before, but I've never actually tamed a Castoroides on here, so I may have to do that at some point. Um, also for the wood, because they are very good wood gatherers. Red Mommy is fighting something over there. It's probably a terror bird, but it's not a big deal. We'll just focus on the otter here. That's the important part. Man, they're so cute, guys. Also, um, it is getting awfully close to the holiday season here. So I did just want to give you guys a heads up. Um, I won't be streaming on the Sunday right before Christmas. I just will not have time to stream that day, unfortunately. But uh, we'll definitely be releasing a video anyway. I will be out of town, and so I'm going to schedule a video to be released that day instead of a stream. And I do hope everyone's all right with that. We will be back on our normal schedule uh, the weekend after all of the holiday stuff. All right, this otter... No! Okay. Oh, I can't believe... I think I punched it. <sighs> Happens every time to me, honestly. All right, let's go swim towards shore here. And, man, we're so fast underwater. Oh, boy. This is not good. Um. Ugh. Okay, that's one terror bird down. Up, up, up. Okay, two, and get off me. Three. And the ants. All of the ants. Oh my gosh. Everything goes wrong. As soon as I do a thing, everything decides to go wrong. But that's alright. I think we got it all. Nope. One more terror bird. Okay. Okay. We should be good now. Um, I'm also starving, which is not so good. Alright. Let's look at our little otter here. Uh, give him a little bit of fish meat so he's alright. And I'm actually going to have to eat a couple bits of raw meat because otherwise I will starve to death. No! No, 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 no! No! Get off! Otter, don't die. Otter, don't die. Otter, don't die. Oh my goodness. Oh no, no, no. Oh, my. Why with the terror birds? Okay, this is like six terror birds. This is not okay. Come with me. Um, no! Don't be punched. Uh, come with me so that you're safe. And then, Red Mommy, come here. Ugh, oh my gosh. Let's, uh, let's go somewhere that's not near where the terror birds like to be. It's just awful there. Oh, man. I would really love to get a female otter as well, um, while I'm out here, but I don't actually see any more otters in the area. Like I said, they are kind of an uncommon spawn. This is one of their most common spawn areas, is on this north side of the redwoods here, um next to the river. You can kind of see where I am. This is where we tamed this one. Um, and they actually spawn here quite a bit. This is where I most often find them. Everywhere else they're like uncommon or like rare and here they're just kind of slightly less rare. So it's, it's something to keep in mind when you're trying to tame otters is that it's a little bit difficult to find them at times. All right, so you're good. Let's go ahead and take this guy off. How are you doing? Oh man, you got pretty hurt. He got pretty hurt, but he's all right. We've got him. Beautiful. So I am going to have to put a really good helmet on this guy. I don't want him to die. Um, and yeah, he's going to come and hang out with us at Hidden Lake and probably do some fishing, actually. So I think I'm going to bring you guys back in just a few minutes here. I'm going to head back over to base. Uh, we're going to craft up a hat for this guy. We're going to put a little skin on it because... Um, He's too cute not to. I do have my top hat skin, so we could put that on this guy. Um, or we could put on another hat if I think I think we have a hat or two we can put on that aren't character bound. Yeah, but they're all back at base. So, um, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in just a little bit, and we'll do a little bit of fishing with our new otter friend here. So I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, guys, so we are back. Um, we are back at the Hidden Lake. We are back at base. And we have our little otter friend with us who, by the way, is going to need a name. So if you do have name suggestions, please leave those in the comments down below. Now, I am going to put this uh, primitive flak helmet on it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we do not have any better helmets. Um, I don't have any blueprints, really, for these things yet. So that is going to be something we have to get is a good flak 
blueprint helmet because I really want this otter to be as protected as possible and unfortunately I just don't have those blueprints yet. So um, very soon we are going to be trying to hit up the cave of the northwest to get some more blueprints because this is pretty much all we have at the moment. Uh, it's not bad. I do have this uh, ghillie mask one but it does take a lot of organic polymer so I figured flak would be one of the safer things to start with. And I do have this Rex Bone helmet that I think we're going to put on as a little mask because it's super cute and I don't see any reason not to, honestly. I would like to use a top hat on it, but I'm a pretty big fan of the Rex Bone helmet um, on these guys. I think it looks really, really cute. How do I have two? <laughs> um, interesting. I don't know how I have two skins, but I do have two skins. All right. So it looks a little bit funky, but <laughs> he's he's wearing that thing proudly, and he's, uh, he's super cute with it. So I'm going to leave him there for a second, and what I really want to do is have him do some fishing. Now, the problem is um, fishing is actually very difficult for otters uh, because they actually can't dive at the moment. So there we go. He's getting it. He got it. Yes. Beautiful. All right. Ooh, he got a pearl. Awesome. So this is the animation that they're supposed to do when they manage to kill a fish. Luckily, that was in shallow water with the Mega Piranha there. And look at that, guys. He did get a black pearl. That is an amazing thing that we can get here. I'm very, very pleased with that. Um, he also has a really high oxygen stat, which is great. So he is on kind of a neutral setting, so I can I can kind of grab things um, and drag them out for him to to attack. And there we go. He can kind of uh he can kind of dive and grab them if if he needs to. Let's go ahead and have him be following us. All right, come on out. Did you get anything good from that one? Um. Doesn't look like he got anything from that one. Now, I do... This is not the most efficient way to get silica pearls or black pearls, obviously. But it is a very fun way to get them. Uh, to have the little otter coming around with you and uh, basically doing his thing. There we go. And the otter should be able to attack that as well. Beautiful. Did you get anything from that one? Little friend? No? Okay. Okay. Um, actually, I wonder if he needs to be on follow or not. Because when they do get pearls, they come and they hold them up to you. And it's the cutest animation ever. But I'm not sure if he's got, um... Okay, I'm not sure if he actually has the animation for it. So, uh, if they have to be following you to do it or what. So I am going to try and bring him some fish here. There you go. Um, okay. He already got it? Beautiful. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, my goodness. Otters are honestly the best. Uh, it doesn't look like he got anything from that. Hmm. Let's see if I can get him to attack this target. Um, I wonder if he'll do it. It's a little bit difficult, I, I think, to get them to do this because, um, as far as I knew, they couldn't actually dive. So if he is being able to dive, that is great. Now, I do have too many other things in the area for him to, like, properly attack. I can't, like, whistle attack target. What I can do is punch some fish and hope he gets angry. Um, looks like he's trying to get something. Is it you? It's you. He can't quite grab it, so I'll bring it up here for him. There we go. And then he can get it. That's not too bad. Um, that's, that's definitely not the worst thing in the world. Let's grab this for him, too. Come here. We'll take it out to him. There we go. So it's not the same as being able to, like, kill a creature because he, you see he has some trouble, um, he has a little bit of trouble going underwater, but he is managing here. 
Can you come under with me? Yes, there we go. As long as he's following me, he can go under. It's just when he's off on his own, he really has trouble getting underwater and doing all of this stuff. All right. Was I able to get him to do that? And as soon as he starts attacking, he goes up uh, towards the surface, which is a little difficult. Ooh, getting a little bit of lag there. Now, if I can chase this fish into the shallow water, there we go. He was able to kill that. Perfect. Were you able to get it? Let's see. Did he get anything? Yes. Okay, he got a pearl. Cool. So, um, as I said, it's a little bit awkward, but it definitely does work. There we go. Have him take down that big coelacanth. What a vicious little otter. How cute. Did you get anything good? Ooh, he got a black pearl. Awesome. So that pearl thing he holds up, it's black when it's uh, black pearl and it's white when he finds silica pearls or just silica pearls. So there, there are ways to see um, exactly what he's getting from that. There we go. Ooh, he got a silica pearl. Awesome. Okay, so this is actually working out kind of well. If I just go and punch a fish, he can kind of get after it as long as they're in the shallow water. Uh, he doesn't seem to have too much trouble with it. Um, there we go. So it's a little bit, a little bit awkward because he can't fully dive, but, uh, he is doing great. And he did, ooh, he got another black pearl. Oh my goodness. This otter's a rock star. I've already got three black pearls, which, again, not the easiest way to get them, but definitely not the hardest either. Um, oh my gosh. This is great. This otter, I could just do this all day, go around and punching fish, honestly, guys. Uh, so yeah, if you do have a good name suggestion, please do leave this in the comments below because this little otter is definitely being amazing. Um, he's being a little bit of a, a cool little otter to have around, and I'm really excited about all of the black pearls that we're getting from this. It's kind of amazing. All right, let's punch you up towards shore. There we go. Yep, as long as you can chase them towards shallow water, um, the otter can kind of... Oh, that was so cute! <laughs> He can kind of do his thing. He did a little roll and held the pearl. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so on top of that, the otter also is really amazing because they offer an insulation buff. So if you thought you were cold at any time or too hot at any time, the otters will kind of reduce the effect of that on you. So I'm really glad we did get um, an otter on this game. This is kind of a low level beaver. I'm not sure I super want that. I do have a lot of beaver dams in the area that I probably need to clear out because I probably could use the cementing paste. Oh my gosh. Yeah, guys, so fishing with an otter, definitely a fun pastime. Uh, definitely something worth doing. And yeah, oh my goodness. I just, I love them so much, and we are definitely going to do the Northwest Cave very soon so that we can get some better flak uh, blueprints for helmets because I want this guy to have a lot more protection since he only has 152 health. That's not very much. Um, to actually level up oxygen on this guy. Less chance of dying. Uh, that's weird. Okay, so it looks like the otter is a little bit broken. Um, his oxygen stat isn't increasing even though I leveled it up. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that's okay. It's not great, but it's, it's something I can kind of work around. I guess I just won't put any more points into that. He does have a lot of oxygen to begin with, so we should be fine. I think I'm probably going to level melee then in that case, uh, because he's going to need it to kill fish a little bit faster and more efficiently. And he might actually harvest a little more if you increase melee. Uh, that does happen with Ankies and Dodics, so it might also happen with Otters. I'm not sure, but I really hope that's the case. Okay, guys, so um, I do think that that's actually going to do it for today's episode. It was a really good one. We got our beautiful little otter friend. Um, how close can we get? There we go. <laughs> uh, in his impressive little Rex helmet. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I do think that's going to do it. If you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. Links to social media are in the video description down below. And I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.